share Facebook, tweet Pinterest, email Porsche drivers Timo Bernard, Brendan Hartley and Earl Bamber claimed a fourth consecutive World Endurance Championship victory in Austin Saturday, but it took another display of team orders from the German manufacturer for its championship leaders to take the win. Neil Yanni, Andre Lotterer and Nick Tandy had the edge on the teammates around the circuit of the Americas and it was only with eight minutes of the six hours to go that Bamber sealed the win when Tandy slowed and moved over. The Briton then tailed a sister Porsche 919 hybrid to the flag, taking the chequered flag just two tenths behind. Tandy had earlier moved over to let Bamber pass for a first time with just over one hour to go, only to retake the lead when the number one Porsche needed less fuel at its final splash and dash pit stop. Congratulations to the number one car, said Bamber. They drove a great race and would have deserved victory. And Toyota kept us on our toes, too. Porsche might have taken a third consecutive one too, but it was put under pressure by Toyota. The Japanese manufacturer's TS050 hybrid was a much more competitive proposition than it had been in Mexico City last month and much more of a force than it had been in qualifying. The two Toyotas, started by Sebastian Buemi and Mike Conway, got between the two Porsches on the opening lap. And when the ADIDNT changed tires and the Porsches did at the first round of pit stops, they moved into to the lead. Toyota ultimately couldn't sustain its challenge for the full duration of the race. Buemi, Kazuki Nakajima and Stefan Sarazen, who was subbing for Anthony Davidson, ultimately finished third just over 20 seconds back from the winning car. The sister TS050, in which Conway was joined by Kamui Kobayashi and Jose Maria Lopez, was a further 20s in arrears at the finish. Reigning LMP2 champion team Signatech Alpine finally chalked up its first class victory of the season despite a latter scare. Nicolas Lapierre, Gustavo Menezes and André Negreo dominated the P2 on the way to a 22nd victory aboard their Alpine badge or Kagibson 07. They had been nearly a minute up until stopping to change the rear bodywork to fix faulty brake lights with nine minutes to go. Signatec ran only on the hard Dunlop tyre, while the rivals tried and failed to make the soft compound work at the beginning of the race. Second and third positions were taken by the two rebellions. Nelson Piquet Jr., Matthias Beach and David Heinemeyer Hansen took second, while Bruno Senna, Nicolas Prost and Julian Canal were third after losing the better part of half a minute when the car was dropped off its jacks before its tyre change was complete. James Callardo and Alessandro Piergaidi held on to take GTE Pro honours for the AF Course Ferrari team despite twice losing a lead of more than half a minute. They lost their advantage with the safety car only to rebuild it before a latter's rear puncture brought the Ferrari 488 GTE and two to the pits. Pierre Guidi rejoined right in front of the second-place Porsche of Michael Christensen, but Pierre Guidi was to pull away to a five-second victory over the 911 RSR the Dane shared with Kevin Ester. The second factory Ferrari took third in the hands of Sam Bird and David Regan. They had battled with the sister car during the opening hours, but ultimately lost time with a different tyre strategy the DIDNT payoff. GT Championship. Leader Ford had a disaster on home ground. The Ganassi team couldn't make the Ford GT work on either of the two Michelin compounds available to it, its two cars ending up at the back of the class field in 7th and 8th positions. Paul Dallalana, Matthias Lauder and Pedro Lamy came back from an early delay to notch up their second GTE and win of the season for Aston Martin Racing. The car needed a short trip into the garage to repair the rear diffuser after Dallalana was hit by Francesco Castrolacci in the Afrin Spirit of Race Ferrari. Six hours of quota results 206.63 kbc lick here to download PDF.